Hello, this is Tov from Tri Food Productions with another Blender quick tip. And in this quick tip, I'm going to show you how you can quickly remesh or redo a mesh of the mesh for your uh, model that you've modeled. Basically, this has to do with sculpting. And I've got uh, an example of this. And the program that we're going to use to do this is open source. It's called Instant Meshes. And it's pretty good. But this is a t-shirt that I downloaded from Make Human. Let's click on it. And I'm going to press tab so we can see the, the makeup of this shirt in, shirt in terms of the vertices. So press tab. And you can see it's just a mesh, or a mess actually, of triangles. It's just so dense and it's, I mean it's highly detailed, but you really can't use this when it comes to uh, animating it, putting it on a humanoid person and then animating the um, the model to move because this is going to be just a lot of points going here and there and it's just going to be a mess just in general so what we're going to use is called instant meshes to fix this now instant meshes is as I mentioned open source so it's free and it only deals with OBJ models I'm going to click on it to open it up and I'll leave a link of the uh, for this particular add-on in the description below so let me double click on this to activate it and this is a pretty uh, simple interface it's nothing really too complex about it I'm going to click open mesh and open PY, PLY and OBJ are the formats that it uses I don't know what PLY is but once you've uh, opened it up navigate to where you've saved uh, the mesh that you want to uh, remesh and I've saved mine already so I'm going to click on that and click on open <clears throat> it's going to ca calculate everything and there's our t-shirt and now this there are a lot of presets or uh, options here but I pretty much just leave everything the way it is uh, advanced settings are here and you have your quads there but I just pretty much leave everything the way it is and target vertex count this is the number of vertices you want in your final product and I usually leave this the way it is also the higher the number the more vertice, the higher the vert count will be but then it'll be really dense the lower the vert count the less detail you will have in your uh, end product and it wouldn't look that good so just leave it the way it is and then once you've imported and you're satisfied with the settings just click on solve and it does this it calculates the best way to align the verts and these lines are you know a representation of where the verts will lay on your model now you have all these settings here these tools that, that you can use to help set up the vert count or the, the way the vertices will lie on your model but uh, as I said before <clears throat> for the most part I just leave these the way they are and you want to click solve again on this lower part and this is the end result here and it looks a lot better than it was before and you just click on export mesh and export it to wherever you want to export it to uh, these are all the uh, options that you have to export it but when you have this compared to let's tab into this again this obviously the remesher is a whole lot better better result now this um, add-on doesn't work with doesn't work well with all um, models I'm going to give you an example of that let me tap out of this now here I've got this basic looking uh, it's like a Bowflex set that was modeled and let's tab in let's click on this and tab into edit mode and you can see that the vertices are not really all that clean it's not there's no really not really good flow to it because if you want to animate this it wouldn't be as bad as animating a, a humanoid model but you won't have as clean of as of a, of a model as you can get that's the best thing so let's go into remesh again <coughs> excuse me I'm going to close this out oh let me just open mesh the same uh, process I'm going to navigate to where I've saved that particular uh, model 
where I've saved that. Let me navigate to where that is. Let's see, Blender, uh, Furniture, Creative Projects. That's it. 3D Model, Interior Home, both legs. Let's click on that, open. It's going to calculate that also. And you, we have this. You would think it, it would be very easy and simple because this is just a really, really basic uh, setup for this model. Very, very basic. But let's click on, let's leave all the settings the same, click on solve. And you can see from that, it just does a really poor job of realigning the meshes, or realigning the mesh in general, laying out the vertices. There's Everything is just pretty much smashed on this side and there's nothing in the middle here, but let's let's uh, get a better physical represent representation of that by clicking on solve again on this bottom part. And yeah, this is just not good at all. Because as, as I mentioned with the t-shirt, these lines here, this is where the vertices will end up or where they will be when you export this mesh. And it's just uneven. Some spots are actually missing vertices, like this is completely missing vertices. So when you use this software, be kind of selective on which models you want to use it for because it doesn't work with every model. But with, you know, in general, being an open source program, it does a pretty good job. So that's uh, my Blender quick tip for this evening. It's remeshing it, the, the remesher, I'll leave a link of it in the description below, but it's remeshing your models. So once you've sculpted the model and you see that uh, it's got a lot of vertices and it's not really set up the way you want it to be when it comes to animating it, Use instant meshes and it'll clean everything up for the most part. And once again, thank you guys for subscribing. Really appreciate that. And thank you for those who will still subscribe in the future. Thank you guys in general. And I'll see you on the next one. You have a great evening. All right, bye.